I'm Brian Pesane and I'm a comedian. And I'm Herman Lee from the band Dragon Force. So I've listened to you guys for years and uh, I was at your first New York show. And my question to you, the first question is, are you a witch? <laughs> because, <laughs> let me explain, because your guitar playing to somebody who doesn't play, it seems like there's witchcraft or magic involved. Well, when you first said witch, I thought you just don't like my hairstyle, and it's not cool enough, you know? When did you start? Were you like in junior high or high school, or, or the equivalent of that, or how old were you when you were... I was 16 when I started. Lunchtime, in England, all you do is play football, soccer, uh -huh. and what happened is I, I, I had the acoustic guitar, and I just played guitar every day in school at lunchtime. In your head when you first started playing, I mean, you played because you you heard somebody and you liked it, right? John Petrucci is the one that really got me, inspired me to actually try to play fast. Before I was listening go, I can't do that, you know. Uh -huh. But um, the way he was playing, the accuracy, the way he approached it in a way I could understand and I could break it down and try it myself. And that's how it got me to um, start playing fast, was um, the Pull Me Under video. Uh -huh. Right, right, right. <laughs> Pretty much everything I listen to, I kind of try to do a bit of it. So, I mean, I, everyone starts kind of soft. So, it's listen, listening to Bon Jovi. Right. Then you move on to Metallica, Megadeth, and right. Testament, and all that, you know, starting to get deaf. You so, know? like Marty Friedman was probably an influence. Absolutely. Or, yeah, and then yeah. guitar heroes like Satriani, Steve right. Vai. So, how does it feel to be like a Guitar Hero phenomenon, or Guitar Hero 3? Uh, you guys are the fastest song, or the hardest song to play, and like I was telling you uh, off camera earlier, uh, I tried to unlock it, and I can't even get to you guys yet. You can play beginner, but it's not the same thing, you know. Right. You gotta be, yeah. When it's fast, you got to be going... Rrr. Right, well, the, the I'm never going to play it. <laughs> yeah. you know, I'll so, live vicariously through <laughs> other people. I actually met this guy um, yesterday, he's a guitar teacher, and he told me, you made my life a bit of a misery. You know, every kid is asking me how to play Dragon Force through the Fire and Flames in my uh -huh. guitar lessons. And they come up and I said, well, you can't really play. I mean, I can teach you, but there's no chance you're going to play it for another year or two. You know, how are you going to tell a student that? Guitar Hero 3 or any of the Guitar Hero games, how does that compare to real playing? I mean, it's... It's harder for guitarists to play Guitar Hero. It's harder to play it? Yeah, if you play the guitar. Because right. You, you've been practicing on, on, the, on this guitar, the hand action for like how many years and you start to turn to something completely different but it puts your hand in the same kind of position but you seem good at it I've seen you playing it online and I, you, I can't play my song oh you can't? no that's so hard so you can't even play the song you actually wrote no it's <laughs> impossible <laughs> right. I know the nine year old kid that um, can do <laughs> yeah. it on the internet so you're going to release another comedy CD like coming up? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, working on new material all the time and uh, I have a new special coming out on Comedy Central and I'm gonna, my record will be some of that new material and then whatever I write in the next six months. Is that catered towards dudes as well, again, like metal? Well, it isn't. <laughs> it's not like an intentional thing, but I kind of, I mean, you guys seem like you play what you want to play, and that's what I feel like I do with my stand-up. Like, I tell the jokes I want to tell or the jokes I want to hear, you know, and the stuff that makes me laugh, that's just who I am, so my act is always going to reflect that. Yeah, toilet humor rules, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We need more. So would there ever be like a full Posein C D with like you rocking out on the tour bus, on tour, going around the America, you know, shredding it, ripping it out, you know, <laughs> yeah. on the stage? I don't know if America's ready for that. So you guys are in the middle of working on the next record. Now, is it written or where are you where are you at now and like explain the writing process. How it works is everyone come up with with, with a basic of their song. And then and we demo it, and then everyone get a copy, and everyone work on it, and make changes, and contribute to it. You need someone to start the fire, you know, to start the spark and whatever, and then make it, you know, and then inject into it. What made you want to go faster? The theory we had was if the fast songs, the best one of the album, we play every single song fast on our album, and that's going to be the best album ever. <laughs> right. That was the theory. That's a good yeah. theory. Are you still trying to go faster and faster? Because, like, at a certain point, you're going to hit a wall. Because sound can only be so fast, right? I mean, it's just going to yeah. be a blur at some point. In Human Rampage, interaction be between the instruments work better to, to make it sound faster, more intense. But even though the drumming isn't actually faster than the previous album, 
you've figured out ways to make new sounds that we've never heard come out of your guitar. So you've got Pac-Man, uh, you've got, uh, what are some of the other ones? The, uh, you've got the motorbike, you can sound like a motorcycle. What I was hoping is maybe you can start to create new sounds based on names that I give you, like uh, E.T. getting punched in the balls. I, I don't think E.T. E got balls, I mean. <laughs> but right. Or uh, what about Herbie the Love Bug and Donkey Kong doing it? Right, who's doing who? The Donkey Kong, he's dominating for he's sure. I mean, he's Donkey Kong. Okay. He's doing a Donkey Kong style. Donkey Kong um, I might need a bit of help from Sam, you know, <laughs> I mean, to, to do that noise. He'll do the Herbie kind of laying there and not being happy about being violated. That might be a bit private, so I'll send you a video right. and I, you know, then you can prove it's good enough to be on the album. Yeah. <laughs> right. And it was fun talking to you. Oh, man. I can't wait to hear the new stuff and uh, check you out. Yeah, I look again. forward to see you on the on the big screen again. All right, thanks. Oh, cool. so.